So thanks for joining me in these ggplot tutorials. And by the end of today's um, lesson, I want to create this chart right here. So uh, murder by urban population and then with murder rates on the y-axis and then percent urban population on the x-axis. So let's start off totally from scratch. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And we're going to create our new file. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have ggplot uh, loaded. So you're going to do library ggplot2. And then I'm going to hit command enter on my Mac to run it. On a PC, you're going to hit control enter. It looks like we have it. And so what data are we going to use? We're going to use the data that comes pre um, pre installed with R. So to look at that data, you're going to go like in insert this line data and then open parentheses. When you run this line, you can get a list of the data sets. So these are the packages that are in base R. And the one we want to use to make this chart is murder by Erdem, uh, is USA arrest, right? here. You can get more info on this data set by Googling it, but I'm just going to go right into it. So let's look at that data set real quick. When we send the line in, we're going to see the whole data set right here. This is pretty hard though. I never do that. I usually just do head, which gives me the first eight records. And there we go. The two data, so the two data things we want here, we're going to want the murder rate right here. And you're going to want percent urban population. So now let's start getting into ggplot. So the basic ggplot syntax goes like this, ggplot and then data. You don't have to put this, but um, when you're starting out, you should probably should USA arrest and then AES, which stands for aesthetics. And this is where you're going to put your data in. And then X, we're going to use urban pop. Remember, this is case sensitive. Y equals murder. And I use a parentheses right here, too. So AES, after AES, you need an open parentheses and putting it in there. Then we're going to put plus. And we want a scatter plot. So we're going to use geom point and another open parentheses. When we run this line, we're going to get this. Make it easier to look at. So there, you have your first ggplot plot. But usually I don't stop here, and we're going to add a little bit more. So um, let's add some titles. So to add titles, you can do a plus symbol right here. And this is kind of weird, and it took me a while to figure it out. But you want to put the plus symbol and then do your next line, or it doesn't work. And then labs. X is going to be your X title. And here's percent urban population. And then comma Y murder arrest per 100,000 people. And then here, comma again, break it, title equals murder uh, by population US 1975 by population percent 75 and now when we run all of this we see that we have a title here we have our title and we have our title for our axes so now let's do two things that are that I always do. So the things I don't like about this is this title is really close to this, and then this title is way too close to this bottom axis. So I want to add a little bit of space in there. Other thing, and this is a really big pet, pet peeve of mine, is that these axes don't run from zero to ninety. It's okay that this run it can run from zero to ninety five and a little cut off here, but to start at thirty is pretty misleading. So let's change the x axis, and then let's fix these titles. To fix the titles. Pretty basic little trick right here, backslash n to give a little space. Yep. And then after doing that, we're gonna see we got a little bit more space there and a little bit more space there. Perfect. Now to change the x axis, x axis, axis, axis. 
We're going to do scale X continue. I always spell this wrong. Limits. And this is uh, um, our syntax right here. Zero to 100. So we're telling it, do the X axis from zero to 100. And then when we run this line, pretty neat. You get zero, 200, and you're going to get your data here. So um, that's exactly what we wanted in the beginning. We made it. So um, next week, we're going to dive into stuff that I really like, which is the formatting of all these things. So this isn't very pretty on its own, but I think there's a lot of stuff we can change and make better. And it's pretty simple, but I haven't seen any really good videos on how, how to get into that type of ggplot and editing themes and stuff like that. So we're going to cover that next week. But I hope you guys liked um, this video. Remember to like this video and subscribe to it, and then I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.